what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, with another episode of Plunder Pirates. Guys, we've got four builders available, a whole bunch of loot, a whole bunch of loot, and I believe we've got a pretty good army trained up. Let's see, <clears throat> they just came back from the seven seas. So let's get one more giant, one more brute in here, and uh, let's see, let's get five, we'll have five gunners, and then uh, 13 of these guys. We'll let those train up in the four minutes as we talk about some stuff. First, I gotta check, I just did some exploring, which I think is really, really fun uh, in this game, especially if you're about to leave for a couple hours and you can't raid or anything like that. Uh, then you can just explore, and uh, I don't know, it's, it definitely adds a different element to the game. That's pretty cool. We are in the clan Marooned. Uh, if you guys want to try and join, you can. No, I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to minimize this. There we go. If you guys want to try and join, you can. I'm going to be kicking people every uh, week or so in the bottom who just aren't active. Um, we are trying to push up in this clan and and be a good clan. So if you, if you feel like you're going to be active in the game and you're going to play a lot, then go ahead and try and join. Um, if not, then, uh, I don't know, you can talk to me on Twitter or something, but let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade. So, our cannons, or one, two, three of our cannons are level 10 right now. Let's take this level 8 one out, and let's bring in this level 10 one. So, three of our cannons are level 10. We've got, uh, two level 8 cannons as well. So, here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna upgrade two of these, get those up to level 9. So, let's go ahead and upgrade that one and upgrade this one which is going to get those up to level nine and then these three right here are level 10. let's see they do uh 34 damage uh which is freaking awesome uh and let's see what the new ones are going to be doing so this is level eight right now so these do 30 so that one does 30 and i already forgot what the number on these was 30 and this is 34 so i guess you only get two more damage as you move up but when we come in here and recruit and see the health on some of these troops, so the Buccaneers are really, really good uh, as a tanky character. So they only do 18 damage, but they have 200 health, which is going to be good against those cannons. Uh, the Gunners, however, only have 32 uh, damage and 90 toughness. So that means two shots from the cannon, well, about three shots, a little less than three shots is going to take out one of those gunners. So uh, if they are attacking something and not paying attention, then these new level 10 cannons are going to go to town on them. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade our boat, but we don't have enough grog to do so. But at the same time, I want to come in here and train some stuff. Guys, I want y'all, uh, those of you who aren't sure about this game and think it's a copy of Clash, to really look at how different it is because it is so much different. You can come in here and you can go to skill. Let's go to skills on, uh, let's go, which, which one do we want to do? Uh, let's go to skills on the thieves because they have a cool one. Uh, so we can go in here, look at skills, and there's this whole skill tree right here that you can upgrade. Other games don't have this. They don't have this option. And as you move up, you can see this one boosts damage caused when attacking grog storages. But look at this right here. Special ability, creep through enemy defenses undetected. Uh, contact with water or enemy fire will cancel the ability. So if mortar just so happens to land on them, it'll cancel the ability. But that's freaking cool. Like, that's really, really cool that they added that into this game. You can come over here to the Brutes. This is another really cool thing they added on for the Brutes. Uh, once you get to this, it's called Bring It On. It's a special ability. It draws the attention of any de of enemy defenses and soaks up everything they have to offer. So if you throw in eight of these Brutes, and you use their ability and just drop a whole bunch of bombers or gunners or high damage troops, they're going to wreck house because these brutes are going to be taking all the damage and they're going to live a little longer or your DPS is going to live longer. So that's just really cool. Like these tiers and these trees that every single troop has is awesome. Other games don't have that. They just don't have it. So uh, for those of you who are still contemplating whether or not you should play this game because it's different or not, come on camera, focus on me. <laughs> because it's different or not it is different it is a lot different there are similarities in the fact that you build a base and you attack but other than that there's so much more to play around with it which is why i'm super excited about it and why i'm playing it so much right now um i think we need to we use our gunners a lot our buccaneers are fully upgraded for uh this academy level 
<clears throat> we do use our brutes a lot. What is this going to do? Uh, this will give us boots damage caused when attacking enemy gun towers. I don't know if I want that. Let's go over to the gunners and let's boost up their... What's this one? Uh, battling enemy ships. No, I want more range. So we're going to upgrade their range right there. That's going to be done tomorrow. And why don't we go ahead and upgrade our bombers as well because we do use them. Uh, increase when battling Kraken at sea. No, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, 30 more toughness. Yes, that is what we want. So we're going to train that up as well. This is so sweet because in other games like Clash with the laboratory, you can only upgrade one thing at once. But look at this. We come in here and we're upgrading two different things at one time right now. That's really, really cool because it is an academy. It's like a classroom. So you can train multiple things uh, at one time. Let's see if we can upgrade anything else. No, so we can't upgrade anything else at this point in time with our grog. Let's go ahead and attack or go plunder. We're gonna go do some work. We're gonna fight a rival captain. Yes, I do want to break my shield. We're going to fight a rival captain. Let's see how well we can do. We're gonna find a good base. That guy's name was Hell. <laughs> Such a weird name. Um, uh, I wanna find good loot though, but I also want trophies because we are kinda trying to push up in trophies a little bit. Look at this. This base is perfect. We can definitely three-star this base as well. So let's go ahead and fight this one. He's got great loot on it. We'll drop off uh, one, two, three, four of our brutes up here. One, two, uh, three, four over here. And we're going to drop off a couple of bucks to help us work our way around. Uh, I've been running this strategy and it's been working really well for me actually <clears throat> with the Buccaneers because they have great... Uh, I don't know, tankiness, just like the Brutes do. So they can hold out and, and take a lot of damage. We're going to drop one of our gunners up here, and we're going to drop uh, more gunners over here. Oh, this is where the rest of his... I didn't even look over here. I didn't explore enough. This is where the rest of his defenses are, are over there on that island, uh, which is really annoying. Let's get these gunners in here and see if they can take out this tower right here. We'll go ahead and use their abilities. We do have two minutes still to work, and we have a bunch of our Brutes still up and active. The majority of the defenses are down on this main island, but again, all of his loot is right here, and I did not pay enough attention to come over here. Our lonely little gunner over here is about to get killed, but he's going to do a little bit of damage first, and there he goes. Hopefully, uh, they will take out the pirate hull in time. Come on, guys. Do some work. I'm about to use the Buccaneer's ability, and they are going to do a little bit more damage for us on that pirate hall. Here they go. <clears throat> so you can see it's dropping down a lot fast. We do still have a minute and a half. The boat is almost down, and once we get this pirate hall down, hopefully we can get some people swimming over here to this island where all of the loot is. I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't realize that that was there. But we do still have a minute and a half, practically. We're going to be just fine, as long as our brutes swim a little bit faster than our DPS troops do. Uh, but I'm not sure if they will or not. So hopefully they will take a little bit of time, because I do want their abilities to be ready by the time we get there. You can see we took out everything up here at the top. All the corners are empty, except for this bottom corner over here. Now here come all of the brutes. I want the brutes to get there first. This is when I would really love to have that ability. Uh, that the brutes have because it would help them cause so much more damage. Wow, I didn't realize that the mortars would shoot into the water like that. They are causing a lot of damage. We're going to go ahead and use our gunner's abilities right there. Let's get these brutes up here. Come on, brutes. Get on the island. The brutes are swimming way too slow. All of our buccaneers are down. Uh, we do still have two gunners up there at the top. Sweet. And those gunners are safe. So those gunners should be good to go uh, as long as the mortar continues to focus on these brutes. No! No! Come on, take it out. Take the mortar out. Take the mortar out. No! They didn't take the mortar out in time. Gosh, we're not going to get any of that loot right there because these freaking brutes couldn't do enough damage. <laughs> so they're about to take out the cannon. We're only going to have nine seconds left. That was a huge noob mistake on my part uh, when it comes to attacking and not checking the entire base. So that's one thing that you always got to do. Check the entire base. Uh, we still got two stars. I'm okay with that. 50,000 loot. Whatever, whatever. Let's go ahead and train up um, another army. So we're going to get eight of those guys again. And let's throw in let's throw in five bombers. We're going to switch it up a little bit. And the rest bucks. So we got all them. And let's go ahead and uh, get another plunder in here for you guys. 
<clears throat> and see how we can do. So I want to find a base like that last one, just not be an idiot and actually attack where I need to attack. Uh, that was definitely a stupid mistake on my part. Um, I don't know how well we'll be able to fare against that base. He's upgraded pretty well. So let's keep on looking. We can definitely find something pretty quick. It's not too hard uh, searching in Plunder Pirates quite yet. This base looks freaking awesome. But again, I don't think that we will be able to take on. Uh, he has one of those crazy mortars in the middle. I'm not sure what those are called because I don't have one of them yet. Here we go. How's this base looking? So this base, uh, his defenses don't look like they're upgraded too well. So we're definitely going to attack this one. Let's drop off uh, two brutes right here to take that out. And we're going to drop off one bomber over there. We're going to drop off a couple of brutes right here and some bombers as well drop off a couple of let's see where else we should drop um we'll drop off over right here by this cannon and we'll drop off a couple bombers over there and then we're going to drop off a whole bunch more buccaneers right here uh as well as up here at the top and am i missing i'm probably missing a defense from back here but i can't really see um, so there we go. Our Buccaneers are over on the left side and in the middle, causing a lot of damage. Uh, we do, however, have a huge issue with our Buccaneer or with our Brutes heading over here and attacking this Grog storage instead of this cannon right here. Because this cannon is going to do a lot of damage to our DPS dealing troops, which we need to be up. We also have this cannon right up here. Thankfully, it is focused on that brute but that brute is not going to be alive for that much longer I still need to figure out what the deal with is the brute with the brutes because they are not attacking the defenses like I thought they were supposed to but we'll figure that out again it is just strategy and figuring out where to lay them and whatnot in the most effective area um, <clears throat> hopefully we can get our ability up here with our come on with our buccaneers right now you can see that cannon is still up there at the top. We have had two brutes just running around being friendly to everybody. <laughs> We've got these brutes up here who are thankfully distracting a little bit. But this cannon up here is going to do work to um, these bucks once they get over here. Let's go ahead and use our bucks abilities. You can see we only have two more buccaneers left over and they are running around in the middle. They are causing a good amount of damage but they are not anywhere near the gold. We really needed to get this gold storage right here um, and then the other gold storages are over here as well. But again these uh, brutes aren't, I don't know, they're not, they're not doing too good right now. They're not doing so hot. We're about to lose our last buccaneer. Nope, we still have one up. I don't know where he is but you can see that the icon is still available over there in the left side. Uh, we definitely needed to attack heavy from the top right up here by this cannon um, and down here in the corner in order to take out that cannon right there. That brood is about to go down and that cannon is practically at full health. So we'll go ahead and just surrender right there. We're not going to get that percentage, but I do believe that we got a good amount of grog from that, which is exactly what... I want it. I want the gold, but not so much. Uh, yes, I want to surrender. <laughs> the servers are being a little bit glitchy right now because so many people are downloading this game and playing it. So uh, for any of you guys who are worried about that or a little bit annoyed, just be patient with uh, Madoki as they work on that because they are getting rushed with a bunch of people downloading this game. So uh, I think, yeah, look at that, 220,000 uh, grog, thank you, that is exactly what I wanted from that raid. Why don't we go ahead, however, and get one more attack in, we'll do eight more brutes, and then let's do, um, no, you know what, we're going to do ten brutes, and we're just going to do the rest gunners, how many is that, ten gunners? <clears throat> That's fine, and then let's go ahead and plunder one more time, and see what we can find, yes, I would love to fight arrival captain and see uh how far i don't know why i always do like an irish accent whenever i say that who knows maybe we're irish pirates or some irish pirate irish pirate all right come on load um again guys they are working on the servers i've been talking to them uh they're working on the servers that is something huge that we can't even imagine like a game server for a game that's played by this many people is a pretty big deal and probably hard to deal with um, so it looks like it's kicking us back here. If it does this, then I'll just cut real quick and we'll um, head out for an attack. It looks like it's frozen. 
Uh, so hold on tight guys and I'll be back in just a second once it is done loading, okay? All right guys, we are back up and running. And it looks like, wait, didn't we? <laughs> I guess what we trained earlier didn't actually uh, get trained up. Let's do five of these guys and the rest bombers. Um, that's funny. But uh, they are having some server issues right now because of the demand of people that are playing on it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so just be patient with it as, you know, this is still the first launch week and everything. Thursday is going to be the first week that it'll be done. Uh, or Wednesday, I think it came out on Wednesday, whenever it came out. So um, why don't we go ahead and get this last raid in, and then we have two attacks that we, not two attacks, we have uh, two builders that we need to upgrade with. This base doesn't look too bad, but I think we might can find one a little bit better. Sorry if y'all hear that dog in the background. My neighbor's dog is literally the most annoying thing that I've ever heard in my life. He starts barking at like 5 in the morning and doesn't stop barking until like 10 at night. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. But um, that one had 15 trophies. That was pretty good. We should be able to find one here in a second for us to attack. And then hopefully if we get a good amount of grog from it, we can actually upgrade or uh, teach one of our new troops. So this one has a good amount of grog. It doesn't have that much gold on it though. And we definitely want gold, gold to upgrade. Uh, a bunch of our defenses and stuff so we're gonna look for this but guys I definitely want y'all to comment down below and let me know how you have enjoyed the game so far um, I definitely definitely enjoy it a lot I think we should be able to get to all this gold and grog actually so why don't we fight this one and we are going to drop off uh, one two three four and one two three four Get those guys in there. Get them aggroed a little bit. And now we'll drop off some of the bombers. No, what are you doing up there, Brutes? Come on. I'm just not too certain as to what the Brutes are doing a lot of the time. What is this? Uh, it's a gravestone. So we'll drop off some bombers up here. We'll also drop off a couple of gunners up there. Um, and a couple gunners right down here. And we'll go ahead and use the gunners' abilities uh, so they can start doing work you can see our brutes are slowly working their way into the cannon still and our bombers are doing some serious work with that mortar is about to take them out move bombers <laughs> they didn't move in time um all that we have left is a couple of gunners up here in the top corner well there's a couple bombers right there but uh they're getting worked on right now by the uh by the cannons our brutes are slowly working their way around Everybody skipped out on the pirate hall for some reason. Um, but we do have a couple of bucks left or gunners left that we can use their ability right now. Let's see where they even are. So the only ones that we have left are in the top right up here. We've gotten an okay amount of loot from from it so far. Uh, about 80,000 of each resource or so. So we'll see how this, uh, how this ends up working. Come on, gunners, move. Move, gunners. Where is our other gunner? Did he just take down? Those gunners are right there doing work. I was like, where the freak are the other gunners? They just took down that boat by themselves. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. We're at 43%. Now we can use their ability. If we can get them a little bit closer and keep them out of range of that mortar, then we should be good. Ah, they're in range of the mortar. The mortar's going to kill them in like two shots. One and two we're done so it was a defeat but i think we got a good amount of loot yeah 128,000 gold is not too shabby i'm definitely okay with that uh, especially at this level that we're at right now let's uh train up eight more of these guys again and i'm thinking that i like the the five gunners with the rest box i think that works pretty well because they're good at tanking um but first, let's go in here, and I believe that we might be able to train something else. Can we train these big boys? We can. I don't know if I want to, though. Uh, what does this one do? Boost damage when attacking Grog. I don't really use the Thieves at this point in time, so I don't know if I'm going to upgrade them or not. This one right here, I need to get through this tree in order to get to this 100, so uh, we'll go ahead and train that up, too. So we have three guys training right now, three different things training up, which is awesome. And let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade some other stuff. Can we upgrade these? 
upgrade our gun towers? No, so we need pirate hall uh, level six to do that. Let's see, we can't upgrade that. We need more loot. Can we upgrade our cannon again up to level 11? No, okay. So level 11 is max for those cannons. Uh, what about our mortars? Let's go ahead and upgrade these. We definitely can. All right, good. So we can upgrade our mortars, and they're both going to be done in a day. So we'll just be out of mortars for a day, and then tomorrow night we'll have our mortars up and ready to go. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, leave a like if you like the game. Leave a like if you like the series. Leave a like if you don't like the series. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun for me, uh, definitely enjoying it. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and plunder on, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.